Area homes and county roads are still in rough shape. That's why much of the state is asking for help. The Minnehaha County Commission is the latest group to approve a disaster declaration. Tonight we show you what happens next and why the emergency manager says county resources can't handle all the flood damage. What I'm here today is to declare that disaster, that Minnehaha County is a disaster and we meet the criteria. Minnehaha County Emergency Manager Jason Gearman says the trouble began with a storm on March 13th. More than a month later, Gearman says the county hasn't officially ended the disaster due to recent rain and melting snow. So it's been a continuing event through all this, including uh, the ice storm that we had uh, with the power out uh, by Hartford, uh, Sioux Falls uh, the other weekend. That's why the county is asking for help from Governor Kristi Noem and the federal government. Right now, the majority of our township roads are in horrible, horrible shape. It's affecting the, the farmers getting back and forth. Uh, dairy farms are affected with the, the big trucks that have to be coming in. Some of the worst spots include Ditch Road and County Highway 122, parts of which are still closed. Going forward, Commissioner Jeff Barth is suggesting the county follow Sioux Falls' lead and look at buying properties in low-lying areas to mitigate damage in the future. Why do we need to do sandbagging every year for the same people? I, I think that's a wise move by the city. Before the commission unanimously approved the declaration, Commissioner Gene Bender praised emergency management teams for their responses. I don't disagree. We can always do a little better, um, but I think we have really made a lot of resources available, and this is hopefully um, a step towards closing this flood season for 2019. Gearman says there are only about three counties in the entire state of South Dakota that haven't declared disasters. He says this is a preliminary step, and now the request will go on to the governor's office.